Hello everyone, this is day 3 of our daily devotions. Talaga mag-iisang buwan tayo, no? magkasama. Before we we uh, start with our devotions, and I'm really excited, I'm really looking forward to spending time with you, sharing my heart. Pero may natanong sa akin po, um, are we gonna be continuing devotions after the quarantine is done? Paano daw po pag natapos na yung ating uh, lockdown or uh, community quarantine, would we still be doing devotions? Gusto ko, sana, no? Ituloy natin. Let's see. But uh, if you're gonna ask me, I, I would love to do this again. Pero syempre, uh, I'm hoping and I'm praying that because of the almost two months na hindi tayo nakikita, I miss na miss yung church that you would uh, be taking advantage of, of every opportunity for us to be together. Yes, gusto ko po sana itulin natin. Let, let's see. Um, th- this is this has been very helpful for me to be sharing my heart with all of you. And I hope this was helpful or this is helpful for you as well. So this morning, uh, salamat sa Diyos sa provision niya ng ating material, the Declaring His Glory Among the Nations by the Masters Academy International written by pastors all over the world. This morning we'll be looking at Acts chapter 2, 41 to 42 and this devotional or reflection was written by sana tama yung pagkakayabasa ko Eduardo Esquerdo from the United States of America but he's also involved in the Instituto de Expositores So the title of our uh, devotion today is The Priority of the of Preaching God's Word Acts 2.41-42 to 42 says, So then those who had received this word were baptized, and that day there were added about 3,000 souls. They were continually devoting themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. Mr. Esquerdo writes, The preaching of God's word is essential to the life of the church and the Christian. In today's passage, the Apostle Peter preached the Word of God at the start of the church era, and it was incredibly effective. 3,000 souls were added to God's universal church. Numbers aside, Peter's preaching was the means that God used to produce precious, long-lasting spiritual fruit in thousands of lives. When Peter saw that the multitudes were con- confounded by the multi-language ministry of the Spirit, he stood up and preached God's word. His sermon focused on the good news of the gospel as evidenced by the Old Testament scriptures. This preaching led to the salvation, baptism, and fellowship of those who repented in faith. The preaching of God's word went on to transform the desires of these converted. There there was a desire to be nurtured with the teaching of Jesus. There was a desire to edify and exhort one another with a goal of becoming more like Christ. There was a desire to share God's physical provision with others. And there was a desire to fellowship with God through dependent prayer. All of this was the fruit of preaching God's word. The preaching of God's word must be a priority for the church and the Christian. It transforms our lives and those whom we interact with. Nothing else will create a love for the scriptures, a desire for genuine fellowship, and a dependence upon God through prayer in the hearts of God's people. Thank God for your pastors who preach God's word and pray for them. I like that. Thank you, Mr. Esguerdo, for that wonderful reflection. Um, to those of you who, I mean, who knows me, I mean, siguro po nakita niyo naman yung heart ko for the last five years that it is my priority for us to be in the Word. Yun po talaga ang, ang desire, ang conviction ko. Um, kasi yun lang naman po talaga ang may kapangyarihan. Ang may kapangyarihan para magbago ng buhay. May kapangyarihan, of course, magligtas sa atin. May kapangyarihan magbigay sa atin encouragement and hope. May kapangyarihan para mas maintindihan natin pa paano tayo kumilos, mabuhay sa, sa buhay na ito um, as we are living for Jesus. Hindi po ta, kasi tayo wala, we are not at liberty to invent 
uh, things and, and means uh, by which we should live our Christian life. And, and biyaya po ng Diyos, it is God's grace that He has given us His word, His mandate para isa buhay ito. Ako po'y namamangha talaga uh, with God's grace by which um, nakit natin that He saved us. Of course, we, we know that the gospel by which we were saved is the the gospel of Jesus Christ, the finished work of Jesus Christ, the beauty of the person of Jesus Christ. Pero imagine niyo mga kapatid, no? Dahil sa biyaya niya, hindi niya tayo iniwanan ng nag-iisa lang. He has given us His word. Para saan? Para basahin, saliksikin at isa buhay. I pray that uh, as um, you are growing in the faith that you can see the priority of God's word talaga po hindi lang sa church pero sa individual believers I pray that the quarantine has uh, led you to be more in the word uh, ang like mo sinasabi yung mag marvel tayo sa genius of scripture mamangha tayo kung paano buhay ang salita ng Diyos at nangungusap sa atin Yeah, and, and the preaching of God's Word, yung saltanan Diyos mismo, ang kadahilanan po para magkaroon ng pagbabago sa buhay, transformation sa buhay, and the, the, the Word of God is the, the, the means by which we do our ministries. So, I really praise the Lord for uh, God's Word. And I am praising God for our church na ang priority natin yung saltanan Diyos. Um, I know some are uh, not used to it and uh, some um, tataka bakit puro Bible kasi mga, ano ba ba dapat natin pag-aralan? Ano ba dapat natin pagtuuran ng pansin? So, I, I'm praising the Lord that uh, we are growing together uh, and I'm here for you as long as the Lord allows me Uh, wala po akong kayang i-offer sa inyo kundi ang salita ng Diyos and that is the most uh, loving thing that I can do for you to serve you to be uh, diligent in my study and to be faithful in uh, teaching and preaching God's word right so thank you for allowing me to share my heart with you and uh, that was a wonderful reflection uh, let's go now to our prayer um Before we pray, I'd like to encourage all of you that um, you can reach me. If we're Facebook friends, you can reach me. You can anytime. If you know my phone number, you can reach me. Um, if you have questions, if you need to be prayed for, if you want me to call you, you can give me a call as well. And I'm just here. I'm willing to uh, spend and be spent for you. Um, gusto ko lang isabihin po yan kasi I know the, the quarantine can have different effects on on people I know I'm encouraged when I get a message from you uh, and I'm encouraged when I get a text message or a call from people who are dear to me just hi hello okay sige po pray tayo Panginoong Diyos salamat po ng marami sa salita ninyo And we pray sure that your word is truth and we're sanctified by it. And we thank you, Lord, dahil sa biyaya po ninyo, binuksan niyo po ang ayon pong kaisipan, binigyan kami ng buhay, ng panampaltaya, ng repentance. And basically, Lord, the understanding, Lord, to see the beauty of the gospel and the ugliness of sin and hindi po makapangyayari ang lahat ng ito apart from your word uh, um, preached to us. Salamat na marami um, kung paano sa buhay namin someone uh, uh, share the gospel with us and you use these people Lord to um, share your truth to us upang sa ganun po magkaroon kami ng buhay na walang hanggan at ng, ng faith para po mag, mamuhay para sa inyo. And even right now, Lord, we continue to pray again for some concerns of uh, ours. We pray basically for the church. We pray that you'd provide for our needs. Alam po namin that because of the lockdown, um, people may have lost jobs. May, people may are, are having a hard time financially, Lord. So I pray that you would provide for them. We pray, we pray that you would provide for your church so that um, we'd be able to 
um, minister still, even in limit the limitations that we have. We continue to pray for your encouragement. We pray for you to um, make us see opportunities uh, to know you more and give us opportunities to be praying, to be studying your word. Again, Lord, maray pong salamat sa inyo pong pagapala. As we go about our day, we pray that um, those of us who would go out to be by necessities, Lord, um, una-una kayo po naman mag-provide ng, ng pananalapi para may pambili. We pray that you'd give them patience as they line up. We pray that you would um, teach us, Lord, to practice um, physical distancing and um, be um, cautious about what we're doing para po hindi lang sa protection namin kundi protection po din ng ilan give us patience Lord give us the um, opportunity Lord to smile and uh, to say encouraging words to those whom we come across yung mga sa grocery sa palengke sa mga nasa, sa pila Lord may they see the difference Lord sa mananampaltaya ninyo kahit na nag, nasa pila kahit na naghihintay kahit na naiinip we pray na um, tulungan nyo kami Panginoon Diyos take every opportunity Lord na binibigyan nyo sa amin para po uh, ipagsigawan at ipagyabang ang Ibanghelyo ni Cristo Jesus we pray Lord that you bless our uh, day and uh, again Lord we thank you again for your church we pray that you'd um, allow us by your grace and in your perfect timing to be granted the opportunity to be together again and to enjoy each other's fellowship. But for now, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the many blessings. Maray maray salamat muli. Magpalain niyo po ang titarang oras ng araw na ito. Sa pangalan mo, Jesus, Amen at Amen. Thank you for joining me again. And until next time, I'll see you. Uh, many sabi sa akin, uh, I'll, I'll try maybe tomorrow I'll try to record outside and to the devotion para ma, ma liwanag na right so thank you for joining me and I really appreciate you um, taking time to listen and to reflect with me and to pray with me maraming salamat po muli bye